Hello traders, we've all been there before, staring at a watch list packed with potential, but unsure which names we should be focused on. With TrendSpider Strategy Variance Explorer, you can remove the guesswork. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to utilize it to test an entire watch list at once so that you can quickly identify which names offer the best opportunities right now. Let's jump in. Loading your favorite watch list into the Strategy Variance Explorer is quick and easy to do. Whether it's a custom list of your favorite stocks, trending tickers like the top mentioned names on Wall Street Bets, or even the latest results from your favorite scan, you're just a few clicks away from actionable insights. So inside the Strategy Variance Explorer here, click the Load from a Watch List button, then search and select your chosen list. Finally, hit Compute, and within seconds, you'll see a detailed breakdown of performance across all the names in your watch list tailored to your chosen strategy. Pretty easy, right? Let's put this idea into action using one of my favorite scans, the CanSlim scan. This one identifies names within the NYSE composite list that are currently meeting William J. O'Neill's famous CanSlim requirements. Once the scan is complete, it's easy to turn the results into a static watch list. To do that, just click the three dots here in the upper right corner of the scan results, select clone into a new watch list, title it how you wish, and then save it. Now we can jump over to the Strategy Variance Explorer and analyze these CanSlim names that we just found. So now we're here in the Strategy Variance Explorer, and the first thing we need to do is select the strategy, time frame, and depth that we want to test. Next, we'll pop over and add the list of CanSlim names we just created, and within seconds, the Strategy Variance Explorer provides a comprehensive analysis. As you can see, there's a lot of metrics here. Net performance of the strategy and asset, total number of positions, total wins, max drawdown, average return, reward to risk ratio, and so on. While it's important to consider all metrics in your analysis, let's focus in on just one to start, net performance of the strategy. Simply, this metric tells us the total return of the strategy over the defined period of time, and we can use it to hone in on a few key names within our list. The best value per each metric is highlighted in bright green, and we can use the filtering tool to bring the names with the highest returns up to the top so that we can easily make comparisons. Clearly, CLS, GATO, and PLTR offer the highest total return of the group, and in the case of CLS and GATO, the strategy beats buy and hold as well as offers a higher average return and reward to risk ratio per trade. On Palantir, however, the strategy doesn't beat buy and hold, which kind of defeats the purpose of utilizing the strategy in the first place, so let's keep going down the list. Looking at ERJ, it beats buy and hold, has a lower max drawdown, and a higher average return and reward to risk ratio. So now we've got our three names to focus on, CLS, GATO, and ERJ. From here, we can remove the remaining names, which frees up variants, allowing us to make our next test even more robust. With 52 variants available to us, we can now test multiple strategies in multiple timeframes on those three tickers to see if there are any better strategies than what we've already identified. I'll select several other strategies that I'd like to test, as well as several other timeframes, and then rerun the Variance Explorer. Again, I'll filter top to bottom, and interestingly enough, we find that our original strategy and time frame still offer the best results, so now it's time to select the single name that we want to focus on. Each of our three names offer distinct criteria, but CLS does appear to have the best overall results. Its total performance trumps GATO's by over 60% and ERJ's by over 200% over the same period of time. It offers the highest average return per trade, as well as the highest reward to risk ratio and expectancy value. It also tends to avoid risk pretty well, with a max drawdown of negative 21.5% versus the buy and hold max drawdown of negative 35.6%. With the most ideal ticker, strategy, and time frame combination identified next, we need to put it into action. With TrendSpider's trading bots, we can fully automate the execution of the strategy or simply receive timely entry and exit signals, ensuring that we're always ready to capitalize when these conditions are met again. By leveraging the power of the Strategy Variance Explorer, we just turned a crowded watch list into clear, actionable insights in just a few clicks. I hope you found this video helpful. As always, happy trading, and we'll catch you next time.